All right, Shalom Yah Sharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video to the spirit and the power of Yahweh Baha Shemi Shah Baha Shemi Kakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Shemi Kakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Who still got it to the highways and byways and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. It's Shalawam, Labakoyim, Wabarakim, Shayar Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. And the last one, Kodash. You know, back at it with another lesson to the spirit and the power of Yah, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Kodash. The name of this lesson is going to be called, you know, pretty much love is an action. You know, love is an action, man. You know, contrary to what these wacky, techy Christians say, man. You know, they say, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, but their actions, you know, says otherwise, man. So, you know what? We're going to go straight to the scriptures and prove that love is an action, not a feeling. This is the book of uh, 1 John 5, verse 3. For this is the love of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, that we keep his commandments. Exactly. See, this is the love of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. This is how we show love to the Lord, man. You know, it didn't say this is the love of the Lord that we feel that we that that we feel kind to one another or something like that, man. No, it says for this is the love of the Lord, man, that we keep his commandments and the commandments are only given to the nation of Israel, man. Which consists today of your so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians and your Israelite foreigners, according to the city of fathers, man. You are the only ones that was given the law. You're the only ones that can break the law. So therefore, you're the only ones that can truly love the Lord, man. You know, this is the book of First John 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Lord that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous, right? It's not burdensome, man. It shouldn't be a burden for you to keep the can to keep the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of your abilities, man. You know, at least try, at least uh, attempt to um keep the laws of the Lord. For an example, the dietary laws: not eating shrimp, not eating pork, not eating crab, not eating lobster. You know, not uh, uh another law: uh, not lining yourself up or going to the barber shop and getting lineups, man. You know, another law: not committing adultery. You know, another law, not being homosexuals, man. You know, so on and so forth, man. You know, so um, we're going to go from there. I already got it written in my precept. This is the book of uh, St. John. Bear me for one second here. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. This is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? This is the book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. See, this, this is what Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai said, man. You know, Lord Yahweh Shai said, who the world really calls Jesus Christ, said to his disciples, he says, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. And where was the, and during this time, was the New Testament written, man? No. You know, Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world referred to as Jesus Christ, was quoting the Old Testament, man. He was saying keep the commandments of the Old Testament, you know, aka the uh what the what they call the Mosaic laws, man. Was really the laws was here since the beginning of time, you know. So this is the book of uh Saint John chapter fourteen verse fifteen again. If you love me, keep my commandments. See, this is how we prove that we love the Lord. I love like like the screen like it says on the screen. Love is not love is a verb. Without action, it is merely a word, man. You know, we can apply these to the so-called wacky. We can apply this to the wacky, tacky Christians, man. You know, as our apostles like to call them. You know, starting off with the uh, apostles to hard on down, man. You know, these Christians say, "I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord." You know what I'm saying? You know, there ain't no the greater love than loving the Lord. But what about your actions, man? The Lord said, "Don't eat pork, man." Why are you consuming pork then? You know, if you say you love the Lord, why are you a sodomite? Why are you a homosexual? You know, why are you a transgender? You know, if you say you love the Lord, why are you smoking weed and cigarettes, man? You know, for the women, if you say you love the Lord, then why are you disobeying your man? You know, the, the, the actions are contrary to what they say. You know, that's why that's why on the screen it says, 
Love is a verb, which means an action. It's something that you show. Without action, it is merely a word, meaning it's not worth nothing, man. You know, because a serial killer can say to his girlfriend, you know what I'm saying, that I love you, and then go while she sleeps, she can, he'll kill her, man. You know, anybody can say that they love you, but, you know, without action, it's just, it's nothing, you know. So, uh, now we're going to go back into the scriptures. Just had to, had to kind of had to bring that example out for the spirit, man. This is the book of, uh, Eo, her old socket. Even, uh, uh, look at Esau Edom's history, man. Uh, to our people, the Israelites, you know, what did he, what did he do to the, uh, to the North American Indians and the, the Northern, the Northern kingdom that was over here before they were, they came over here, they talked that peace talk, you know what I'm saying, you know, they said that they loved them, you know what I'm saying, that what they do, they killed them, they, 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 they slaughtered them, man, you know, they massacred the Northern kingdom, man, you know, it don't even get me started about the Southern kingdom, how much, how many times that the so-called White Christians say that they love black people, but then they go kill them. You know, look at the Ku Klux Klan, for one example, man. You know, they're, they're supposed to be so-called Christians, but they're going around killing uh, uh, Jake, man. You know? So this is the book of, uh, this is the book of, of St. John. Let me see. Uh, this is the book of St. John 21, verse 15. I'm going to start at 15. So when they had died, Yahweh shot saith to simon peter simon son of jonas lovest thou me more than these and he saith unto him yea lord thou knowest that i love thee and he saith unto him feed my lambs and he saith unto him the second time simon son of jonas lovest thou me and he saith unto him yea lord thou knowest that i love thee he saith unto him feed my sheep exactly who is the sheep of the lord the israelites you know who is the lamb of the lord the israelites you know and it reads, uh, he said, Father, him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said, Father, him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said, Father, him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say, Father, him, feed my sheep. So, you know, pretty much when it says feed the sheep, mean do this work, man. You know, if you really love the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Which is keeping the commandments. The commandments said to go out down the hallways and hedges, you know, and bid the uh bid them to the marriage, man. That's a commandment, man. So if you say if you say that you love the Lord, you're supposed to go out down the hallways and hedges and constantly throw up these YouTube videos through the spirit, Shah, and uh, feed the sheep, man. Feed the feed feed the Israelites, man. You know, feed 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 your people with the word, man. With the scriptures. You know, that if our people don't want to hear it, our people don't want to um deal with the Bible, man, that they can have a nice day, you know, we moving on, you know, but the main part of the scripture, if he, the Lord said, if, if you love us, thou me, he said, that, all right, if you love me, then feed my sheep, meaning do the work, man, if you love me, do the work, you know, that was the, uh, the seriousness and the austereness of lawyer, I was shy, man, you know, he said it to that, to the uh, head apostle Peter three times, man, you know, just like it didn't do the work, do the work, do the work, you know. So now we're going to go to the book of um, Second John here. Let me see. Brothers know where I'm going. This is the book of Second John, chapter 6. Let me stop it. This is the book of Second John, the sixth verse. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. The law of his commandments that's found where in the Bible, man. This is this proves that we love the Lord, man. You know. We just kept the high holy day uh a couple of days ago, man. The Passover, you know. And we're still in the um we still in the midst of the feast of eleven bread, man. Where our brothers uh abstain from eating anything with leaven in it or yeast in it, you know. And we're doing that to the best of our abilities, you know, we're keeping the laws that is the commandments of the Bible to the best of our abilities. So by us doing this right here, rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, we're proving or we're showing that the Lord, that we we're, that we love him, man. You know, uh, this is second John verse six. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. Who is that? We, we is talking about the Israelites because we're the only ones that would that receive the laws that is commandments of the Bible. This is the commandment. That ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. Exactly, see? Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, man. 
you know? Plus, the wall, uh, after the law starts to commemorate the scriptures, man, to the best of your abilities. And this has been since the beginning, man. You know, as I referenced earlier, since the beginning of time, man. You know, the laws has been around, you know? Just look at the example of Joseph, man. When he told that woman, when that, uh, when, uh, what's, what's his name? Uh, was, uh, Philophar, with Philophar's wife, tried to lay with Joseph. You know, he said, you know, I, I'm not going to commit this great wickedness, man. Because he knew that it was wrong to uh, sleep with another man's wife. You know? So, hey, with that, Lord, this video is edifying. Uh, I want to give all praise and glory to y'all. Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakotash, double honest to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Till next time I say, Shalom.